Hello, hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Beth and I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. I also recently this last week um, started cross-listing some things onto Mercari and if it wasn't such a simple process then I probably wouldn't bother but it's super easy to cross-list um, and I'm kind of using it as a last stop to get rid of some things that have been hanging out in my closet for a long time um, and things that are admittedly bad buys. So um, my goal is just to get as much of my money back as possible. And yeah, so um, so far the stuff that has not had any interest in Poshmark is what is getting interest there. So I think that it'll work out as, as kind of um, that use. So um, I own a baking business and I'm offering... Um, gingerbread making gingerbread house making kits and so uh, I have my last round going out today I've got seven lined up and I'm just gingerbread it out and sick of rolling out dough so I wanted to, to get this video up before the craziness of the holidays and uh, let you know what I sold so I had 13 sales this week two were on Macari and the, the rest were on Poshmark um, I will say that as far as the earnings profit it wasn't as great as last week. It was kind of the week, more like the week before. I just about doubled my money, but um, that's fine with me. I honestly wasn't expecting to make hardly any sales. Um, just with it being the week before Christmas, people are buying more retail stuff. Uh, they're busy, so they're probably not on the app as much. So I was pleased with what I did make and what I sold. So let's just get right into it. The first sale was this um, flax oversized linen um, button-down top so it was ni a nice piece just because it was really versatile um, nice in just a black color and um, I paid three dollars for it and I sold it for twenty three dollars and discounted shipping so that's a dollar fifty off um, I earned sixteen ninety after Poshmark fees and profited thirteen ninety so I'll definitely go for that brand again Next, um, these Level 99 jeans. Level 99 is an anthropology brand. And um, you'll notice that this is a really minimal listing, like I don't have a lot of information. And that's because I had to um, I had to fix the listing. There was a problem with the sale at first, and so then they wanted the offer, so I went in and relisted it and just shared it to them. So I didn't bother putting all the information in again. Um, so this was an outright sale for $25. I paid $6.75 for it. Um, they weren't marked up at the, the consignment store, which was nice. Um, so after fees, I earned $20 and profited $13.25. And this was like a boyfriend um, style, and I didn't know how that would do. It seems like boyfriend does okay, but skinny is the best, um, at least for what I've sold in my closet. So I was happy that they sold and I made a pretty de decent profit. Okay. <clears throat> Next was this Brooks Brothers 100% Merino Wool Duster Cardigan. This was um, in with the dresses. And I was excited because Brooks Brothers is a, a brand that sells really well for me. Good quality stuff um, and really expensive as far as retail prices go. So I was excited to find it. I paid up a little bit, paid 10 bucks for it. And then when I got home and I had my lights on it, I found two holes. So I was really bummed. Um, obviously, I disclosed it, and it really brought the value down. So there wasn't much I could do. I really could have gotten a good profit if it wasn't uh, damaged. But I ended up just trying to break even. I sold it for $15, earned 12 so I profited $2. <laughs> and I think the other people will agree with me that a lot of thrift stores and consignment stores, but mostly thrift stores in my experience, they don't have very good lighting. And especially something with this much fabric, it's just really hard to find every, th every flaw, even if you look it over. So sometimes this happens. In fact, I'm sure it happens to everybody. I'm just happy that I made my money back. And um, yeah, I'll look better next time, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so this next item that sold, uh, this was just so beautiful. The, um, it's kind of a tunic, and it's Signature Studio, which isn't a great brand that I know of, but um, it just had the prettiest design and buttons, and it was super cute. So it sold for a pretty good price. Um, I paid $5 for it, and 
it sold for $22 plus free shipping. I offered free shipping with it being kind of a no-name brand, and uh, I only paid $5 for it. So um, I earned $11.11 after fees and profited $6.11. Okay, next, I do have a couple gambles that didn't <laughs> go in the right direction, I guess, with this week. So this was kind of one of them. Um, I found this at a thrift store for $3, and it's an Eddie Bauer 100% lamb's wool scarf. I thought it was really nice because it it could be for men or women. I listed it pretty high at first. I thought maybe, I think maybe in the 30s, just to see how it would do, because I had no idea. Um and obviously, it didn't do well at that price. Um, I paid $3 for it, sold it for $9, and um, I earned $6.05 after fees. So I basically doubled my money, <laughs> and I made $3.05 profit. Okay, next. Okay, here's a gamble that went south. So these look pink, but they're red. And I bought these like a month ago. Chico's, I think, is hit or miss for most people, but um, with them being red jeans, I just thought they'd be perfect for the holidays, so I took the risk, and um, I lost a little bit of money on them. Um, so I paid $6 for them, sold them for 8 after dropping the price a lot. There wasn't really any interest. Um, I earned $5.05 .05 after fees, so I lost $0.95. Cents. But I think with colored jeans, it, like they sell well for some people they don't for others I feel like this was this could have gone really well <laughs> I mean with them being skinny red skinny jeans with um the red and the Christmas coming up but you win some you lose some okay next this is another of my favorite brands to sell maybe I'll do a video on some of my favorite brands um, that do well for me but soft surroundings um I have some more pieces in my closet that have taken a little bit longer to sell, but they're just, it's really, really nice. And how can you not love something called soft, soft surroundings? So they were high-rise straight blue jeans. They had this really pretty thing on the, the pocket. And um, let me see, I paid two fifty dollars for them, sold them for $25. So after fees, I earned thirteen fifty one and profited $11.01. Okay, I love selling these kind of pullovers. Um, I only got, this was originally marked way up at a consignment store for $15. I found this and another uh, fleece that I had in, I still have in my closet um, for, what was it? Buy one, get one half off or something. I don't remember. It was a, a little sale, so it was worth it to me. I've sold a few of these kind of things, and this really resembles the... Um, Patagonia snap tee pullover. It's like the exact same design. So um, and those are really popular. I've sold some. So um, I did disclose that the the fleece was a little bit, I don't want to say matted, but it's, I mean, it's vintage. It's, it's older, so it's not going to feel like brand new fleece, but I thought the colors were good. So I paid $7 for it. Um, it was really oversized. And paid seven dollars for it and I sold it for 40 with free shipping um, I'm starting to offer like things 40 50 dollars with free shipping to see how that does and so far I've had good responses from it so after fees I earned 2551 and I profited 1851 so I was happy with that and this sold within a, less than a week okay this was my first let me think. Oh yeah, okay, I got these from a reseller anthropology box, mystery box that I bought a while back. Um, not much interest, and then all of a sudden somebody bought them for $30 outright. I paid um, $5 for them. It worked out to about $5. So I earned $24 and profited $19. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Look at how soft this looks. <laughs> it was so beautiful. And I went back and forth. I bought this along with that Eddie Bauer lamb's wool scarf. Um, I paid $2 for it. And I had it listed high because I just really didn't know how it would go either way. It's like a bucket hat. It didn't have a brand, but it was Angora rabbit hair and wool. And 
obviously amazingly soft. Um, and I thought that it would make a great Christmas present for somebody. Um, I think it was an adult hat, not, um, a children's hat. So, um, I had it listed high, dropped the price a few times and eventually it sold for $9 in discounted shipping. So $1.50 off. So I earned $4 and 55 cents and, um, profited $2 and 55 cents. So again, another gamble, it could have sold for $50. You know, I just had no idea what the value, um, of something like this would be, but now I know. So, um, but it really was a pretty, pretty hat. Yeah. Okay. Last thing on Poshmark. Another lesson learned. This was my first time finding Miss Me jeans. I know that they don't sell for what they used to, to sell for. Um, and I went back and forth about these because number one, they don't have a ton of bling, which I've heard both either that could go either way. So I've heard that that makes them a little bit more distinct and sought after. And then the other, the, the opposite too, that maybe people want more bling because that's kind of their, their thing. So, um, the other thing was that they were straight leg jeans, um, not skinny. So I went back and forth and eventually I was just like, I got to try, I got to try this brand. It's not really something that vibes with my closet. I don't think, but, um, sometimes you just have to see how things do. And, uh, these did not do amazing. I paid $8 for them. I sold them for $14. So after fees, I earned $11 and five cents and profited $3 and five cents. I don't know if I'll pick these up again. Um, if they're much cheaper, probably I got these from a consignment sh uh, shop and most of their jeans are $8. So it's pretty expensive, but I figured that they would pay off and it, it really didn't. So those two things I think had, um, were working against these jeans, but somebody's happy and, um, I'm glad that I gave it a try again. It could have gone really, really well. You just never know. Um, Okay, so that's all for Poshmark. I have to go on Firefox because for some reason Mercari does not like Google Chrome on my computer. Okay, here is the other gamble from the red jeans. So I got these around at the exact same time, actually. Um, they're Arizona Jean Company, which I know is sold at JCPenney, I'm sure, other places. So it's not a really expensive or sought-after brand, but they were that um, really trendy, like goldenrod mustard color, and they were skinny jeans. Um, they were juniors, but I just, I thought that maybe they would do well because it was like the perfect timing when everybody wanted that mustard color and all I saw were sweaters and stuff. I didn't see many jeans. So I gave it a try and it ended up on Mercari. So especially since it's not fall anymore, I don't think that I have a good chance of somebody buying them for a lot. So I paid $6 for them, sold them for 10 after fees. I earned four seventy five, So I lost a dollar 25 on these. Um, and then this is another thing. Like I said, I'm just trying to get rid of some bad buys and make money back to reinvest. Um, this came in the reseller anthropology mystery box. So I don't know that I would pick it up in person if I found it. It is cute and I love the panels. Um, I, I love tunics cause I love leggings. So, um, I listed it, it didn't do well. And then I relisted it and it got some good interest, but that's it. That's as far as it went. So I listed it here and right away, um, it sold for $10. I paid six seventy five. It worked out with the box and earned four seventy five after fees. So I did lose $2 on this. Um, this was the brand postmark. Do I have a picture? Yeah. Whoop. There we go. It just looks like a stamp. So, um, I probably won't be picking that up again. It could have been the mixed print that put people off. I don't know. Okay, so for some numbers, let's look at my sticky note. Where is it? Okay, so this week is covering six days from last Friday to yesterday, Thursday, the 20th. Um, altogether, my cost of goods was $71. My earnings after fees was $159.23. Last week was like $160, so pretty close to that. Um, but I paid more for goods this week. So my net profit, so 
um, after cost of goods, after fees, I earned $84.03. So basically turned $70, $70 into 160 So double my money, which I can't be mad about that. That's, that's pretty good. Um, and got rid of some stuff that I can reinvest the money with. So just looking at some data, I had 13 sales, uh, two discounted shipping sales, um, which is less than, this, that's the lowest number so far. Uh, I had nine outright sales and two free shipping sales, those kind of higher priced items that I offered free shipping. So nine outright sales, even some of the items I had just sent out um, offers to likers. So I think I'm going to be, I'm not going to be quite as hasty with the offers to likers button just because outright sales, obviously you make a better profit. And um, so I'm going to see this week if I can kind of hold out for some some outright sales or even offers to me where I don't have to give a, a shipping discount. So looking at my average earnings per item. So this is an average of how much I earned after fees per item. Um, last week was 21.17. I was really happy with that. This week, my 12.25. So, uh, oh, good timing. So, um, I'm hoping that it'll go up again next week. We'll see. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy these videos. Please leave me some feedback um, if you like this format or um, if there's something different that I could do. And I will see everybody next week. Hopefully I'll do a haul. I just picked up a bunch of men's stuff and I'm really happy with what I found. So follow me on Instagram. I'm at Rural Thrifter. And um, find me on Poshmark at Beth Bundles. So I hope everybody has a great holiday. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.